New polling is out which has Ford at his lowest numbers since 2015 and shows that the majority of Ontarians don't think that the Ford government is for the people. With less than half of Conservative voters saying that he is for the people. And a whopping 67% of all voters saying that he is not. And a majority of citizens in Ontario think that he hasn't built roads and public transit in Ontario and he hasn't created a strong economy or created good jobs with a wide, wide majority saying that he hasn't supported the healthcare system, hasn't supported public education, and hasn't built houses in Ontario. But don't worry, Ford. People in Ontario appreciate you for what you've actually accomplished. Meanwhile, the Liberals only trail the Conservatives by 3% in voting intentions, even when you get rid of undecided voters. And when you put those numbers into the 338 simulator, the simulator hasn't had the Liberals polling this high in so long that the bar doesn't even go high enough for them with the Conservatives at 51 seats and the Liberals at 43 seats. But even with 51 seats, there's no way that any of the other three parties would be willing to work with Ford to get him into government. So how does this get resolved if the Liberals don't win the most amount of seats? Well, assuming that the Liberals win the second most amount of seats and it's fairly close, there are a few options. The NDP can work with them on a coalition government, although I doubt that Bonnie Crombie accepts that. Alternatively, there could be a supply and confidence deal or they can go motion by motion, similar to how most minority governments in Ontario have worked in the past. But I know what you're thinking. Shouldn't the party with the most amount of seats be the one that controls government? Well, if they don't get the confidence of the House, then no. And there's no way that the NDP would support the Conservatives because that would go against the will of their voters. The only scenario I could see in which Doug Ford is Premier after these election results would be if Bonnie Crombie decides that her best bet is to allow the Ford government to continue to go on for another year, collapse the government after that, and have another election. Although I would consider that a risky political play considering Ford's history of being able to dodge scandals and putting the blame on other people. What do you guys think of all this? Leave it in the comments down below.